Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you all are good. Today we will do exercise 16A of book D2. And we do questions of basic level from question number 1 to question number 5. Let's start students. Question number 1. Table shows the masses in kilogram of uh, 16 bag of rice. Now students part number 1. Represent the data on dot diagram. We have to represent this data on dot diagram dot diagram and uh, we observe from this data that the uh, smallest uh, digit is 15 and the greatest uh, is 43 that's why I draw the line from 15 to 45 and I have to represent this data on this line now I observe there is 220 uh, we have to start from 15 and there is 215 1 and 2, 215. After 15, 220. And then 23. 21, 22, 23. There is only 1, 23. And 25, 1, 2. Yes, there is 2, 25. 1 and 2. And 1, 2 and 3. 325 there is 325 and after 25 26 one digit is 26 and 26 no 27 and 30 there is one two two digits 30 one oh it is we have to start from that point. 1, 2. There is 2, 30 digits. Now next. There is no 31. No 32. And no 33, 34. And 35. No 35. 36. 1, 2. 3, 4. 4 values are 36. 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 values are 36. Now next, there is only one value and that is 43. 1, 2, 3 and that is 43. Now students, that is the dot, dot diagram. They, all the data is represented in this diagram. We can easily read this diagram. How many uh, masses of bag show 36 and these are 4. How many masses of a bag has 25? 3. Total number we can count. If we want to count the total number of bags, we have to count all the dots. Very simple. We represent this data on dot, dot diagram. And now students, next part. What is the mass of the lightest bag of the rice? We can observe from the dot diagram that is it is 15. The lightest mass of the bag is 15. And what is the most common mass? We can observe from the dot diagram the most common mass is 36. Now we can write the answer 36. Now part number 4, bags of uh, rice with a mass of less than 30 kg have to be refilled. How many bags have to be refilled? We have to uh, observe from dot, dot diagrams how many bags have a mass less than 30. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are 9 bags which are less than 30. These are 9 bags which have to be refilled now students question number one is solved now students question number two the dot diagram represents the time taken in minutes for a group of people to complete the questionnaire that is the dot diagram which is provided to us and we can easily read this diagram and in this question, we have to solve the questions by this diagram, by this dot diagram. 
and what was the part number one what was the most common time taken what was the most common time taken and that is one minute we see observe that there there are the more most of the dots are in one minute that's why we write the answer one minute one minute part number two find the distance between the shortest and the longest time taken to complete the questionnaire uh, we have to find the difference and uh, we can find the difference first we know the longest time and also the shortest time and the shortest time is one and the longest time is 14 then we can find the difference Shortest time is one minute and longest time is 14 minutes and difference 14 minus 1 we get 13. Now students part number three total number of people who completed the questionnaire uh, we can easily count we can easily find this answer by counting these dots. Now we have to count it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Total number of students are people are 31. The total number of people are 30. Now, so this part number 4. Find the ratio of number of people who took 10 minutes or longer to complete the questionnaire to the total number of people who completed the questionnaire. In this question, we have find the ratio between the total number of people, which we already find 31, and the people who take 10 minutes or longer than. It means we have to count the numbers, people, number of people from this uh, dot diagrams which took the 10 minutes or longer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And these are 11. It means the ratio, the number of the people who took uh, 10 minutes or longer is 11. And total number of people we already find 31. And that is the ratio. Required ratio is 11 ratio 31. Now students question number 2 is solved. Now students question number 3. The table shows the time taken in order for 20 students to complete their social study project. That is the data is provided to us. And in part number one, represent the data using the stamp and leaf diagram. We have to represent this data on stamp and leaf diagram. Uh, for uh, represent this data on stamp and leaf diagram, we have to first uh, write the key. Key is a two slash five. It means 2.5 or we have to write this two in stamp place and all the leaves which are belong to two we have to write at that side and we see that two and there are 2.5 5 2.8 8 and x 2.8 this is we can read it 2.5 2.8 2.8 and next is 3 and 3.3 that 3.3 3.5 again 3.5 yes 3.6 next 4 and 4.0 4.0 5 next uh, 4.8 and 4.8 next 5 and 
5.5 and 5.5 yes there are two 5.5 next six and Six point four, five, six point five, again five, six point five, and six point six, and six point eight, seven, seven zero, seven. Now to tell your data if you have write all the digits we have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and these are 20. We have to count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, we have tried the complete data and we represent the data on stamp and leave diagram. And now part number 1 is solved. Part number two, find the percentage of students who spend less than three hours to complete their project. Uh, we have to find the percentage and we have to write the students uh, uh, who spend less than three hours. Who spend less than three hours, only three students, one, two, and three. And total number of students is 20. To find the percentage, we have to multiply it by 100. Cut five, five threes are fifteen percent. Now, students, we have to find the percentage of it. Uh, part number three students who spent more than six hours to complete their project had two marks detected. What fraction of the student has two marks detected? Uh, six hours to complete their project, two marks uh, detected. And we have to write the fractions of students who whose two mark is detected. We we have to count the students which spend more than six hours is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are seven students. And uh, these students are seven. And its fraction is total number of students is 20. And that is a fraction of uh, of students who spend more time than six hours and this is a fraction of the students whose two marks are detected seven by twenty now students question number three is solved now students question number four state and type of correlation of for each of the scatter diagram below now students this is the part number a and we can observe that this is a scatter diagram and we have to find what type of correlation in these points First, we observe the line that the line is downward. That is a downward line. It means uh, it is negative. It is negative. Its correlation is negative. The positive line is that is the rising line. And that is the falling line downward. And its correlation is negative. All the points are very close. These are not scattered there, 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 there. These are these points are very close, and it means it's it's strong. Its correlation is strong, and we have to write this strong negative correlation. Now, students, this is the part number of A. Now students part number B, in part number B we have to write the correlation, which type of correlation is this. Uh, we observe that the, that the line is rising, that is a rising line and it means it's positive, it's positive but the points are not very close to each other, they are scattered but not all the sides, it means that correlation is moderate. positive correlation now students part number c in part number c we observe that the line is rising it means it's positive and the points are very close to each other it means it's 
a it's strong strong positive correlation now students part number d in part number d we can observe we can not draw a line can't judge a it is rising or a, a falling line it is negative or positive it means we observed in this no correlation no correlation observed in this diagram now students question number 5 this scatter diagram show the monthly income earned by individual with varying year of experience the line of best fit for the scatter diagram has been drawn that is a stars scatter diagram line which is best fit is also drawn and using the line of best fit estimate the monthly income earned by an individual with 18 years of experience we have to find the monthly income monthly income is provided this in dollars thousands and that is the age of a year experience and we have to find the 18 years 15 16 17 and 18 that one this is and it goes to 7 7000 it's in 7 it means it is 7000 and we have simply write a uh, write that the uh, income is 7000 we have to only find this value we have to write uh, like that from graph the answer is dollar 7000 that's it student we have to find only the income in thousands and uh, now students this question is also solved i hope you understand this questions very well thank you very much students for watching my videos take care of self allah hafiz